Welcome back to Educator.com. This is the Life Science course, and today's lesson is on photosynthesis and respiration. Today's objectives are, number one, describe the process of photosynthesis. Number two, describe the process of respiration. And number three, explain why photosynthesis and respiration are important. Before we begin uh, talking about respiration and photosynthesis, let's talk about what plants need in order to survive. Well, plants need water, all plants. Uh, they need sunlight. In some degree, all plants need some form of sunlight. They need oxygen. They need carbon dioxide. They need nutrients. All of those things in order to maintain what we call homeostasis and to make their own food. Homeostasis is the process or the ability for all living organisms to maintain life processes for survival internally. So it's basically the ability to be able to maintain those optimal conditions for growth and survival. And plants are able to do that uh, in various ways, which we'll describe. And also, plants are able to make their own food, which is the distinguishing feature between plants and animals. And when uh, any organism can make its own food, they have a special name, and they're called autotrophs. Auto just means automatic. And that just means that they can automatically make their own food as long as they have a source of water and sunlight and uh, they don't need to go and find food outside of themselves. Now, what, what do uh, plants do in order to maintain homeostasis? Well, they've adapted uh, certain structures like leaves and roots to make homeostasis a lot easier because those leaves and roots help in what we call gas exchange. And the gas exchange includes carbon dioxide, oxygen, and water vapor. The plants are ex exchanging gas between the internal part of the plant and the external part of the plant. So that gas exchange is occurring between the plant and the outside environment. So carbon dioxide is actually being taken into the plant and also being taken out of the plant. Same with oxygen. Oxygen is being taken into the plant and Oxygen is also produced and released out of the plant. And water vapor is also being released out of the plant. Again, plants can make their own food. And also the leaves and the roots are part of that process. And that process is called photosynthesis. Water intake is very important. Without water, plants can't survive. And the leaves, and specifically the roots, help for that water to come inside the plant and uh, for all of the cells to have access to that water. Now, let's talk about exactly what leaves do. Leaves are the structure of the plant that help that gas exchange to occur. So the oxygen uh, and the carbon from the atmosphere go into the leaf. And then the oxygen, water vapor, and carbon dioxide leave the leaf. So this is what we mean when we talk about gas exchange. Now, the structures that make up the leaf are the chloroplast, the epidermis, the cuticle, the stomata. Basically, leaves are just several layers of tissue, and those layers of tissue have specific function to help with this gas exchange and to help with producing food for the plant. The chloroplasts 
are the structures where uh, the food is being formed. The epidermis protects the leaf. The cuticle is the waxy layer of the leaf that makes the leaf waterproof. And the stomata are the small openings in the leaf that help for gas exchange to occur. In my diagram here, the uh, epidermis is on the top. We have a top layer and a bottom layer. And then surrounding that, we have the waxy cuticle above. And the other parts of the leaf are held within that. And here is a stomata or a pore opening where gas, can, uh, gas exchange can occur.